Henry McMaster is in Greenville today on the campaign trail, and he also took questions about the state of coronavirus in South Carolina. 7 News' Ayla Farone joins us live in Greenville with the latest on that. Ayla? Well, the governor making several points on the pandemic today, but the main takeaway from everything he said was that individuals need to do their own research on the information and make the decision that's best for them and their families. And the Governor Henry McMaster making an appearance in Greenville on Wednesday, stressing the continued effects of the pandemic. But we know it's dangerous, and there are many of us who, who believe that the vaccines work. DHAC's most recent vaccine rates show about 53% of South Carolinians have received at least one dose of the vaccine. McMaster credits the recent uptick in those getting inoculated to the rise in cases. I think anytime we uh, have an event like that or a happening like that that, that uh, gets people's attention. He says cities like Greenville that have reinstated some mask requirements are well within their rights to do so. Decisions that the cities and others are making under the home rule laws are up to them. And those are questions that will be decided at the local level and if people disagree with them, they can take it to court. But he believes the state assembly's decision on leaving masking in schools up to parents is constitutional. Often things are challenged, but I don't think that that challenge, if it is challenged, I don't think it's going to be successful. His main suggestion to parents is to gather all of the information for themselves. I would urge every parent to, to get up to date on the information that is available in copious sources about things that they can do. And he thinks that's the best course of action for those who are still making decisions on getting vaccinated. This is serious and people need to get the information and take the best course they think there is for themselves and their families. Governor McMaster also using today's appearance to kickstart his campaign with Lieutenant Governor Pamela Vett by his side. Live in Greenville, Ayla Farone, 7 News.